Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm gonna do an agar to grain transfer. And I'm gonna show you, I use these now, these little tweezers. They've saved me quite a bit from using, instead of using my knife, I find it's a lot easier to use these long tweezers. So, all right, I've pre-sterilized everything. Let's uh, get at it. First one we're gonna do is albino haluta. Actually, you know what? Let's do, let's do apex blue meaning. Let's do the blue meaning. Cause I got the bag ready and everything's ready to go. So all I'm gonna do, this is a clone. I'm gonna cut it into four sections. Just like that. Okay. Now what I like to do, I don't know why, I like to cut the top of the bag off up here just above the filter. So what I'll do is I'll cut this off just above the filter. Okay. I'm going to open my bag now. Grab my tweezers. Whoops. One. Two. Three. Pull the bag up. Give it a little shake. Now normally in a bag, a three pound bag this size, you'd want to use two or three, uh, two or three agar plates. I only have one, so I'm in no rush for it to colonize. Now, we'll use our impulse sealer. Now the trick when you use this thing, is once you hold it down and you see the light go off you want to give it about five to ten seconds so it doesn't rip the bag you want to let it cool down so it has time to seal properly bag don't forget to label it and then on to the next one so we'll do one more bag for you guys Now this one is a project that I've been working on for a long time, it's Apex. I've started from spores, a dried mushroom, and uh, I've been working on this one for about, since I started, so seven months. So like I said, I like to cut the top of the bag off. Okay. This is an Apex cluster from a clone that I took. Once again. Now typically you'd like to sterilize your knife after every every use. I mean, I don't do that. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Okay, once again, let's open our bag. Make sure it's nice so you can get it in there. Stupid bag is crinkled. Stand up. Okay. Now, 
we're going to take our tweezers again. See how nice the tweezers are? You don't have to reach over the bag. You don't have to hit the knife. Just pick it up, put it in. It's beautiful. I love this. Okay. Close the bag. sealer and then once again just hold it down till the light goes off give it about five to ten seconds to let the bag cool down before you open it up air might be getting in there so if the bags aren't uh, when you when you um, pressure cook the bags if you don't do the tops properly it gets kind of hard to, uh, to to seal them so maybe I'll put a little less pressure on this one Okay, that's good. Now we'll label it, put it on the shelf, and wait. That's it, thanks for watching.